Hello and welcome to another edition of the special joint podcast episode between Time Flies and the Bonus Room Podcast. I am your host, Ariel, alongside Stefan Lozano and Santiago Lozano. And we have one half of the Island Boys with us. Only Mr. half. One half, Mr. Reed. Gentlemen, how's everybody doing? What up? Good, how are you, you boys? The reason why Trent couldn't be here is because he's still, you know, uh, grieving. You know, yeah, so recovering, recovering. He, yeah. he still he couldn't make it. Reed, thank you for coming out and showing your face. Yeah, so someone had to represent the Heat. Big yeah, facts, we know, you know, facts. it's a tough time for you right now, um, given the circumstances. But you know, uh, we're here. We're here to vent. We're here to let it all out. This is a this is the forum to do it. And so, um, I think we should start with you and uh, talk about your uh, your losers. Damn, what happened. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> So uh, yeah, do you guys didn't even win your play, your second play, and did you? You didn't even make the final or the hey, playoffs. And I showed up the next day on this pod, just like, just like <laughs> you had to, and I and I wore it. So, but no, it's, it's your time, yeah. man. No, I mean, look, this is uh, that was a tough loss. Uh, it was, you know, everyone's gonna talk about the shot, and I'm sure we'll all get to that in a minute. Um, but I, I'm personally, I'm really proud of this Heat team. Um, I, I wish, obviously, that they were playing in the finals right now, and that you know that Struce shot controversy uh will haunt me for years to come but you know we gotta it's something we gotta live with i i can live with jimmy butler taking that shot in that moment um despite what people will say about his you know the strengths of his game and how good a three-point shooter he is like i think at the end of the day in a game seven with you know less than 20 seconds on the clock you want the ball in the hands of your best player and if he gets a wide open look you don't pass it up no matter what um so i'm kind of coming at it from that perspective um i think it'll be interesting to see what the heat do this offseason what moves pat riley will make um i i I think it's pretty clear that the heat need one just one more player that can get his own shot and hero can do that from time to time. But obviously like there are points throughout the series where he couldn't, and then he was hurt. So it was kind of, you know, just a, a cascading effect after that. Um, do you guys but, have cap space? Sorry, Reed. Do you guys have any ca- room for like signing? Uh, not, I mean like, yes. If they move Duncan's contract or if they Ooh, move, okay, okay. if they, if they basically they can move Lowry, Duncan, or bam, any one of those guys and clear up 20 million pretty much instantly. Um, so that, so they, they have, and you know, NBA, the NBA is so weird with the way you have to like match contracts and all that stuff. So yeah, they, they do have pieces that are tradable. Um, and a, the good, the good news for us is a lot of those guys that contributed this year are, you know, restricted free agents, young guys, undrafted guys. Um, so, you know, Pete have sort of, first right of refusal when it comes to their contract. Um, but yeah, as far as like getting over the hump, I think Jimmy Butler was sensational. Obviously we all, th- I think, you know, bam in, he was, he disappeared at times throughout the series, but in that game seven, he was on. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was just clear that, you know, the three point shooting wasn't there. There wasn't enough. And despite the fact that the heat were, the most efficient three point shooting team during the regular season, uh, Boston's defense really stifled that, which Steph, hurt. what are you laughing at dog? <laughs> bro, it's a down sleeping, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm tired, but I'm just sleeping because I knew this movie. I've seen this movie before and it's just like, oh it's God. nothing surprising to me. I've heard this and re a, I feel bad for your boys, but you guys are in the same spot where you guys started. So it's, it's, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, what, 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 what do you mean you've heard really this talking. story before that's the story for basically any team that doesn't win the finals no like, it's, just, it's just your team hasn't really changed since 2020 and you guys i thought you guys you guys had a little more in the tank you guys could even make it back to the finals and hero was hurt yeah but he's not a huge part and duncan wasn't like, it's just your team i feel like your, your team took a step back in my opinion um even though you had victor oladipo which he was sick he was really good but it's just like, come on, like you guys game seven, lose, uh, Butler doesn't be aggressive. Bam was getting... It was a close game. What are you talking about? Butler doesn't get good. Butler dropped 40 points in game one, game six, dropped 35 in in the last game. Like That that was a bad shot to take. That was a bad shot to take. No, it wasn't. Oh, Santi, this shot? 
You agree? With yeah, I do. Because here's the situation, oh, okay. right? People, people think that like if Jimmy Butler drove, he would have automatically made it. And I don't think that's necessarily true when you have a six, seven player, no matter how special he is mm -hmm. going up against a seven footer in the paint one on one. He I don't like foul. that. I don't like that matchup. First of all, then the other part is there's multiple out possible outcomes, right? So say Butler makes it, but doesn't get the foul call, which is the most likely outcome given that like it's late in the game seven, the refs want to swallow the whistle. They don't want to be the reason that a game is decided or not. And then the heat, especially Jimmy having played every single minute, were just absolutely gassed. And so you have Horford backpedaling. You've got an open look, Jimmy. And I think, uh, who was it? It was it. I think it was Nick Wright on first things first the other day brought this up. Jimmy Butler, when he's shooting threes in transition, shoots 47% from the free, mm -hmm. from the three point line, which is very drastically different than his like 25% or whatever it is that he shoots when he just squares up. Uh, it's so weird because in transition, that's a harder shot. That's yeah. So yeah. Weird. Shot. In transition, think, is that a catch and shoot though? Or is that like he's dribbling and then he shoots it? like dribbling up court, like transition, you know, off of a steal or, or, you know, well, before the defense can get set essentially. Um, That's so, fucking so weird. yes, yeah, so I think for him, it's just a rhythm thing. Um, and, you know, Jimmy Butler, he was shooting better in the postseason, um, not only just from the field, but also from three than he did in the regular season. He was, you know, lights out in the series. So I have no problem with him taking that shot at, at all. I think the the argument is that there's a higher probability probability of him making the two pointer, um, or getting fouled or doing something to tie the game instead of like jacking up that three. I think that's the argument is that you probably have a better chance of winning if he just drives than he does taking that three. Because if um, he drove, if he drove and he made the basket without the ref calling the foul, they would have tied the game. And obviously, you would want the end one to be called, but the refs have yeah. been so fucking bad this playoffs, whatever. Listen, man, I get why he made the decision, but well, hold on, on D, really quick. Before before you go into that, I just want to take a I just want to talk about that one thing that you guys brought up because so there's a difference between, and this is again, I'm not like gonna sit here and preach analytics, but like this is where like if you talk to a sports better or a bookie or something, they'll tell you there's plays that that help you win the game and there's plays that prevent you or that that minimize the chances of losing and there's a difference so like going for like driving and um you know going for the two that's the strength of jimmy's game reduces your chance of losing the game but it also reduces your chance of winning the game because right, you have Reed, to go come overtime. on man no I'm come serious. on man this is a real thing no i get it but that's like that's super like too many data like yo i test What's the better play? A transition three? I get it. Jimmy Butler shoots 47% on transition. I get it. But what's the better play? Attack your man, a, a seven-footer who's backpedaling, and you could, you could get the and one call. He's that's nine. the better play, bro. Yeah, he, that's a, that's the better play. That's, I, that's just eye test, bro. All this, like, analytics. I get what you're saying, but I don't I, know, no, man. I never see, liked all that stuff. No, but see, this is, again, like, I don't like, I don't like Jimmy Butler relying on the refs to win the game that late in the game. You know what I mean? Like if he's going to drive, that's going to tie it up. Boston gets Boston still has a timeout. They can inbound it. And actually I think they had two timeouts at that point. They could have inbounded it. If they didn't get a play, a look they like, they could have called another timeout, drawn up another play. I think you give Boston a healthy 10 seconds afterwards. They ice the game anyway. So if you can go for the throat in that situation, I think you do it. Well, Boston would have had that time. Even if he made three though. Yeah, but at least this puts game pressure on them because not only they, – they know if they don't make it, they still got overtime. But they know this, like, you know, you go – They either make it or them. they don't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get it. I mean, he wanted the game, he wanted the game to be over with because Jimmy Butler especially was fucking gassed. That whole team was gassed. Like, you well, could, yeah. Well, you my next question is that – You got to ride that momentum while you have it. I mean, think about, like, they were coming off the Struis three, two yeah. major defensive stops – like you gotta while that way, especially on like on home court when you got the crowd behind you, you gotta ride that wave while it's there until it's gone. Well, as deep as a team that my because I remember you and Trent were preaching how deep the Miami Heat is all season. Why is Jimmy playing forty eight minutes if your team is that deep? I think for one, Boston Boston did a hell of a job defensively, and I think. I think it, this is one. Okay. So this is, I don't know. Tell me if you guys noticed this, but 
one thing the Heat do really well, and it's why Duncan Robinson thrived and got his contract, is they have guys that are really great spot up shooters coming off a screen. And there were several times, it was mostly in the middle game. So, like games like three through five, where I noticed Boston was grabbing through the screens a lot, which was really, I mean, the refs weren't calling it. And I'm not here to like, you know, ticky tack pick on the refs or, or blame them. But like I think in, when they were able to do that, one of the strengths of the Heat and what allows them to get back into games or put games away was taken away from them. And so, look, I think obviously Tatum and Jalen Brown are capable of just lighting it up at any point, um, and that's scary. I think the Heat have to earn their points uh, a little bit more uh, old school and in a little bit more challenging way. But they're not. It's kind of like the Bulls in that sense where. Um, you know, DeMar DeRozan was shooting, you know, getting 40 points a game by shooting mid-range jumpers and, and getting points in the paint and going to the free throw line. And Jimmy Butler's game is the same way. But what made the Heat so good during the regular season is that they had the three point. They were so efficient from three that they were able to, um, you know, keep the pressure off of Jimmy when he's taking those shots. DeMar DeRozan didn't have that. So I think when you look at Boston's ability to um, – it, early in game, in game, what was it, two and game four, just completely shut down the paint and then take away the Heat's three-point option. They just made them live and die in those mid-range shots, and it, it killed us in those games. Reed, my question to you is, okay, I, yeah. get, what you're, I get what you're saying as far as, like, um, why you think it, the, the players didn't really um, show up during the series. Um, do you think it was more Boston's defense, or do you think it was more – some some of your players just didn't show up. I think it was a combination of the two, certainly. Um, and and, it's, I I, think, and and when I ask that question, it's kind of hard for me too because Hero got hurt, so he couldn't really show if he was gonna step up to the challenge. Oladipo's yeah. Oladipo has been is coming off of two years of surgery, and offensively, we both everybody can see that he just did not have it whatsoever. He was, like, shooting bricks every once in a while. He'd hit a three and, like, make a nice drive. But overall, his offensive game has deteriorated. He'll get better with time. I get it. His, de- his defense is way better. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to ask that question because I feel like there's a lot of asterisks as far as, like, heroes getting hurt. Oladipo's coming back from uh, surgeries. I mean, they're, and they're relying on Max Struess, who's a fucking Division II player. Like, You better put some respect on his name. Struess I mean, yeah, he's, he's got my he- respect. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say if you put respect on Struces, you gotta put respect on Smart because and PJ Tucker was also a no show. I felt like the entire series, PJ Tucker never really made a difference. Uh, I think he did early in the series, but Spo didn't play him as much late in the series, and I wonder how much of that was um, the was it, it was like a knee or an ankle injury that he'd been dealing oh, with. Oh right, right, right. Like he had like if you there were a ton of pictures. I don't know if you guys saw him like going around Twitter where he had like this. Um, like blood flow circulation, like bag basically on his leg, for, like before every practice and every game, just trying to be able to suit up. So I, I think PJ Tucker, as much as I love him, like was definitely hobbled by this series. He wasn't, he wasn't the player he was during the regular season. So I think that contributed to it. But as far as, as far as like um, the other players, yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that they struggled uh, offensively. I think defensively they did enough most games, which, again, which is why if you look at Max Struess in particular, uh, since you brought him up, Daryl, um, he was a guy that the reason he replaced Duncan Robinson on the floor was because he was a better defender and about as good a three-point shooter. Now, unfortunately, like Boston did a really, really good job of just taking the three away from the Heat entirely. And the, the Heat – had the, have had this problem in recent postseasons where they just go into these shooting slumps at the worst possible time, um, which is why they got blown out by um, in ga- what was it, game four. Yeah, game four and, and game five where they just got absolutely blown out. So it can get ugly really fast for the Heat if they're not hitting those threes. Um, and I, I hate sitting here listing off a bunch of excuses because, again, at the end of the day, they're within one possession with 17 seconds left on the clock in game seven in the conference finals. So like nice the job, heart and, you got team, and like so. everything that they, they put forth, like it seemed at times like the gap was too big and somehow they found ways to get back into it, even when no one else thought they could. So I, 
I'm thoroughly impressed. I think it's obvious they need one more pure scoring option, someone who's a consistent shooter. Um, of course, the entire league is looking for someone like that, but um, I think can the you, Heater uh, really just that one piece away. Can you tell Bam to stop being soft and actually use his, <laughs> ath- use his athleticism for, to his Dude, advantage? I would. I, I think I, I said this to you guys at the time. Robert Williams was maybe the biggest factor in that series uh, outside of, you know, Tatum and Jalen Brown, because he absolutely abused anyone yeah. that came near him from the heat. And I, I, I think part of the reason it, it, he definitely affected Bam on the offensive end, but I really, I'm with you. I really wish the heat had put pressure on him to come out of his position to, um, you know, maybe attack someone late, draw fouls. Like they, they put no pressure on him in the sense of like, getting out of position and and putting yourself at risk of drawing a foul. Robert Williams was never in foul trouble that entire series. And I, for the life of me, don't know why. I, he was, he was being guarded by Al Horford last night. He clearly has the advantage and he, and he was doing all these, yeah. get into the paint and then he's doing these fadeaways. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Like, I don't know, man. Bam is that's, very, that's Bam's game. Like Bam, Bam will hit those 10 foot jumpers all the time, like all day. I know, but he like he, his talent is insane. If he adjusts his game a little bit, which probably he will, he's still super young. Yeah, but he's that only was just 24. one of four. Yeah, he's super young. So that's one of the things that I just saw. All right, so let's let's just wrap this up. Read just real quick uh, your final final thoughts about Miami Heat for the 2021-22 season. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's it's disappointing in the sense that we didn't get back to uh, the champ the finals. We didn't win a championship. We We didn't accomplish what we wanted to, Um, but I think, you know, all year people have been just sort of writing off Miami and saying, uh, like, they don't have any true superstars, like, they'll make it around or maybe two and that's it. And while that kind of turned out to be true at the same time, like, people like Santiago over there saying that Philly's going to, you know, knock him out (laughs) in a gentleman's sweep and Joel Embiid is unstoppable. And I think people just need to recognize that heat culture is a real thing. And I thought his eyes were closed. I didn't know if his <laughs> eyes were closed or that's why I was, that's why my face was up in the screen. Hey, I do. I do have one more question for everyone. Just a quick yes, no answer. No explanation needed. Word. Can Jimmy Butler be the best player on a championship team? My answer is no. My answer is no. My answer is no. Fuck no. <laughs> yes. I think he can be. Okay. Okay. All right, All right gentlemen. Andrew Wiggins or something. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me ask you a counter real quick. If you okay. put, uh, I know, because I'm curious if how this changes your answer. If you put, uh, if you swap Jalen Brown and let's say Tyler Hero, do you think the Heat win that series and, and are a championship contender? But Jalen Brown's better. Yeah. No, but that's, I mean, he's that's a the lot question. Like, he's but a lot Jimmy's better, still though. the one on that team. Barely. But you put Jalen Brown on that team. Jimmy's still the one. Barely. Jimmy? I don't. I don't know. Jalen Brown's dope. A Reed. He might be a number one on that team. Like I feel like they're almost the same, bro. Nah, but it's not the same because it's the reason Devin Booker's not the one on the Suns. Chris Paul is. Like it's not a one. Isn't just about scoring. Yeah, but Jalen Brown's young. Like how old is Butler now? Like I mean, 30? okay, maybe, 32? maybe, maybe yeah. the Heat get past the Celtics because then I mean having Bad going from Jalen Brown. Brown to Tyler Hero is a huge yeah. drop off. So. Um, okay, well, yeah. just, just uh, Matt, it, 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 forget the swap part of it, but just put Jalen Brown on there as the two. Yeah, Jalen, a core of Jalen Brown, Jimmy Bam. Butler, and Bam Adebayo. Do you think that can win a championship? I think, I think, no, nah, not not against the Western no, team. Yeah, okay. I don't think the championship. Yeah, I, I think, think it gets to the finals, but I don't, I don't think to. Yo, I don't know, man. Jalen Brown is a little sus, bro. Have you guys seen him dribble? Yo, some, <laughs> sometimes I know I'm not kidding. He's a, he's a top he handles, twenty-five player. True, but like it's so weird. Like sometimes his handles are so fucking off. Like he can't even dribble. I don't know if you guys peeped that. I don't know. Yeah, he traveled. There were there were quite a few times where he traveled and they didn't call it. And it's because yeah, because his his dribbling is you're right, it's sus at times. But also, and we don't have to go too deep into this, or we don't really have to get into it all. But Dariel, this is what you and I talked about previously. Where it's like how many legit number twos actually exist in this league? Right. Like yeah. I don't think there's there's maybe three or four maybe. Yeah, I mean we would have we would definitely have to go in depth about it. But yeah, no, I remember talking about that. All right, man, Reed, 
I think we're all very sorry for you, except for Santiago. So we just want to say, man, <laughs> yeah, congratulations I lost money on, on the season. Heat. My dumbass bet on them. That's the last time I bet on the Heat. <laughs> congratulations on this season. You guys definitely earned my respect. You guys really put your heart out. And um, Jimmy, Jimmy Butler especially. I told you guys offline that I made a top 10 list, and Jimmy Butler is definitely on my list. So we could talk about that another time. But, yeah, Reed. Top 11. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Y'all All right, gentlemen. Ready. Pat Riley about to go whale hunting this off season. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. So we're gonna move on, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna review our picks from the playoffs. We're gonna see who, what every, what team everybody picked to see, I guess, who was like the closest to have a to have a perfect bracket, and maybe whoever wins could like show off or brag. Whatever. The only one who had a correct finals prediction isn't even here. He was the only one. Damn, Trent, you hear Spirit? Wait, Golden Trent? State. Yeah, Golden Trent State. Yeah. Boston Golden State. Oh, just any one team? Yeah, and the rest yeah. of us didn't get a single team in it. So much for Santi riding and dying with the with the Celtics there. I know. Well, I thought they're gonna be beat, uh, beat by Milwaukee. Yeah, we thought Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, that series was yeah. crazy. That series is stupid, you know. Yeah. So, but Boston, man. Hey, I picked Boston to beat bum ass Brooklyn though. Y'all didn't even take Boston past the first round. I'll give you credit for that one, Cynthia. Brooklyn had us yeah. all fooled. Not Back. me. Yep. Fooled. Can we like, talk about that first? Like, can face. we actually talk about that series? Because that it's not All just right. us. I mean, like literally everyone thought not even if Boston won, they thought that was gonna go like six or seven. Even yeah. like Santiago, who picked Boston, is like, I think it goes seven. at least six. All yeah. right, so Reed, Reed, what'd you have? You had Brooklyn in what? I had Brooklyn in seven, I think, or maybe six. I think I had him in seven. Yeah. Uh Santi, you had Boston in uh six, I believe. Six or seven. Stuff yeah. you had uh brooklyn in seven yeah i had brooklyn in seven listen man i don't know what the fuck happened okay <laughs> i literally thought kevin durant and, and kyrie irving were gonna show the fuck up i don't know what the fuck they happened did for one game the first game yeah That's and it. and boston beat them fair and square and then the rest of the series was just a fucking downhill spiral like i don't know what the fuck happened and i thought kevin durant was gonna be able to will them to but if he it's didn't kevin, if if it's if it's Kevin Durant by himself, he definitely can't win the series by him. Uh, he can't he can't win the series, but he could definitely get a one game or two. That's how good Kevin Durant is. And he should at least got one to get swept, yo. Like that that doesn't do anything in my eyes. That doesn't do anything as far as like his stature in the league, his legacy. <coughs> crazy, but, but that shit was crazy. So I don't know if anybody else. What, if you guys I think it's just there. honestly it was embarrassing. But like, no, but like think about why we all picked Brooklyn this year. It's because. Despite all of like the antics and the complete dumpster fire surrounding the uh, the Nets last year, KD still managed to take that series. What was it, seven against the Bucks? And, and, and yeah. yeah, and like within a play of uh, going to the finals, like he was a toenail away from fucking yeah, like Eastern it was. Oh, yeah. And so we saw what he did last year with even less around him, and we're like, oh, like. Even if they don't win this, they're going to take this six or seven easily. Like, n- of course. And so when it rolls around and, yeah, it's just goose egg, man. It's it's Dude, it's like, know. what the it's, fuck happened? It was crazy. We all bro. thought that. We it all thought crazy. it was going to go seven because Absolutely. we think – we thought KD and Kyrie are both top ten players. And Kyrie is. Is. Not anymore. I don't have him in my top ten. Really? It, 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 mm-hmm. Like, side note is is Boston that just that good of a defensive team? Yeah, that's what happened. That's it's defense. Yeah, no, they're they're pretty they're pretty legit. Yeah, Brooklyn but Milwaukee and defense. Miami takes them to seven. Yeah, because that. Yeah, but so, then, so like, if we were gonna if we were gonna knowing what we know now, what would you guys uh-huh. say? Heat and and it's say Heat and Brooklyn match up in the first round. I would say Heat and five. Yeah. Yeah, and I would say Milwaukee same. is sweet. Yeah, I'd agree. You think Milwaukee yeah, is sweet? Yeah, I mean, this season was just so fucked up. No, no, yeah. he's saying Milwaukee sweeps the Nets. Yeah. Oh, sweeps the Nets. And yeah. he says Heat one and five, which I kind of agree with. Well, it's yeah, because, no, this season was just so f- – Santi, my bad. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, no, because Brooklyn Brooklyn doesn't play defense, man. And, nice. and their, their coaching was not good. The trend – the, and neither does Dallas, and how does Dallas get to the Western Conference Finals? And Dallas is uh, Dallas. Uh, Jason Kidd's a good coach, man. He's coming, but into they're his not role. a defensive team. Yeah, yeah, but Luka. I, even I think, it, the, the point is, is that even even great Dallas. offensive talents should be able to get you a couple games. They may not get you a series, but they should at least get you a couple games. 
Yeah. Mm, it should get at least one game. I don't know about a couple. At least one. If you're Kevin Durant, no, it's got to be at least two. Mm, but by himself, if Kyrie doesn't show up and Kevin yes, Durant literally yes, shows up, yes. if you're a top yeah, three nah. player, yes, nah, yes, nah. That, yes, you know how hard it is to win, dog, especially in the playoffs. Yeah, but he's yeah, not but playing what, with scrubs. Yeah, we're talking like this is he's like, playing the with fucking Goran Dragic, dog, who just literally signed in the middle of the season. Goran Dragic was with the uh, mm. he two years ago in the went finals. To the Eastern Conference final. Oh, yeah, the they, finals. Li- they literally Dragic signed him in January. Stop. Like he's and he's older. Blake yeah, Griffin can barely walk. Okay, okay. Paul Millsap uh, needs to retire. Uh, Lamarcus Aldridge at the end of the bench. You got fucking Bruce Brown, who's okay, like Kyrie the only Irving. other player that actually showed up. D. Kyrie fucked up this year. Kyrie fucked up the whole season because of his back. He was having forty point. Yeah, but he was, even when he came back from his little vaccine thing, he was still having forty plus point games in the regular season before the playoffs. So it's not Dog. like he wasn't Dog. in shape. In the regular season, he had he played one game, and then he would have three days in between. Of course, he's gonna drop sixty on Orlando. He has well, fresh legs. Kyrie fucked up the whole season, bro. They didn't, they weren't able to develop that chemistry. And they had Ben Simmons, who never played. What a bad trade! And they also had a no. They also had the the other AD, Andre Drummond. Come on, man! Like they had talent. They should true. at least got a game. They should at least got a game. It's ben not Simmons, like he was playing with scrubs. Those, ben, all those guys are previous All Stars. Ben Simmons, like. Now we know that he had back surgery, so that was actually a legit injury. So who cares about Ben Simmons? <laughs> right, uh, that's a, you're being a little biased, uh, D, back surgery. I see where you're coming from. Nah, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's true, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I had back surgery, but he I had guess. a herniated disc, and he they had surgery on it. That's a, that's he probably a did thing, that from bro. fucking his girlfriend, bro. He was off the entire <laughs> year. He probably didn't do that from back. No, from don't ball. get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. He definitely fucked up the way he approached it. But I'm saying, like, now that he had back surgery, they didn't make that up. He literally had back surgery. So that's, we, that's a big thing, bro. Okay. All right. Well, we can save Brooklyn talk t- for the next for the for the season 2022 2023 season pod because I I think Brooklyn's like the Lakers are irrelevant to me now. So like I could give two shits what? about Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Don't put us in that same. Brooklyn's never won a chip, bro. We have championship history, bro. Okay. Well, I'm talking about I'm talking about yeah, competitive bro. right now. Yeah, talking about competitiveness yeah. right now. Competitive. Yeah. When I saw this, because Santiago was gonna go down the list of all the championships that he wasn't even born for. So fuck it. Let's just <laughs> let's right. move forward. Next, I've Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Chicago. Okay. Yes. I had I had the bullish pick by thinking Chicago was gonna take them to seven. Obviously, that Yikes. was the worst. That was the worst prediction. I gave, you know, I feel bad for DeRozan. He's an LA kid. I want to see him do well. But every time, that's why I don't want to hear about DeRozan anymore either. Every time the playoffs come around, DeRozan doesn't show up. Doesn't show up. Like he yeah. showed up for one game. He got him one game. Most of you guys had Milwaukee in a sweep. So I had Milwaukee in five. Yeah, and you and Santi yeah. had Milwaukee in five, and Trent and Reed had Milwaukee in four. So at least he got him one game. But man, DeRozan's just so disappointing. And. I could give two shits about He's a regular him. season see, this player. Is, this is like this is what I was talking because you guys were like you guys believed in DeRozan and I I thought DeRozan was pretty good. Um, but again, the Bulls were like one of the worst three point shooting teams in the league during the regular season. So when the postseason comes around, that just gets amplified. And DeRozan's game, you know, when he's when he's got no one to stretch the floor and it's just him taking mid range jumpers, like that'll get you one game, but it won't get you anything more. You know who's super sus? Fucking the big man for Chicago, Nikola Busevich. Yo, oh, he got yeah, he yeah. didn't fucking show up whatsoever. And I thought yeah. that this season he had pieces around. He had the Rosen, Zach Levine. I'm like, okay, he's gonna be able to flourish. This guy's literally let Giannis just fucking baptize him every fucking game. Dog. <laughs> Back, Giannis no, Busevich is like league, so. no, of course. No, but, but I'm but saying Vucevic like he didn't is... even show up, dog. Like, come on, bro. He's he's a four at best on a championship team. A hundred percent. He cannot. Yeah. yeah. 100%. I wouldn't expect it from you. I just, I, I just wanted DeRozan to do well. That's it. All right, next, you. Philadelphia versus Toronto. Yeah. Um, all of us had Philly. Yeah. Um, how many yeah. games did that go? That that went six. That went six. six. Philly. Okay. Yeah. So I yeah, everyone that was, was right. Surprising. Santi, you had him in five. I had him in seven. Um, so we we're we we're pretty spot on about that one. I knew Toronto would put up a fight. I didn't think it'd be, uh, I didn't think it'd be like a sweep or a gentleman sweep. I, Toronto's a good team. Um, their coach is obviously staying there. Um, Philadelphia, I don't know. There's nothing to say about Philadelphia. <laughs> and then Miami and Atlanta. Uh, me and the Island Boys had Miami in five. That was obviously correct. Santi and D had Miami in six. Yeah. I mean, Trey, I, Trey Young still has my respect, but he his team isn't good enough to do anything. He's always going to be a first-round exit. I know last year they, they made Eastern Conference finals, but 
Nah, Trey's that's not just a younger James Harden. Like he's got, he's he, like the ice trade. So he's entertaining in the last three minutes of a game, but watching forty eight minutes of Trey Young is just mind numbing. Yeah, I mean, but I, I think, like him. I think Trey's gonna. I think Trey's gonna figure it out. James Harden never figured it out. That's why he's in the situation he is now. I think Trey's gonna be able to figure it out. He's not gonna. I mean, I next. hope so. Like it'd be cool to see. I I just don't expect that because he's too ball dominant, and when they take. They actually, no, to be fair, they were better against the Heat when they took the ball out of his hands uh, and made him play off ball. But I don't know. Yeah, Atlanta is just way too far away. They need like three or four more pieces minimum. Yeah, no, they're they're super far away. Um, all right, so that was the that was the East, East first, first round. round. Yeah. All right, so for the West first round, um, Phoenix versus New Orleans Pelicans. I had Phoenix in five. Steph, what'd you have? I had Phoenix in five. Reed. I think everyone Phoenix else had him in a sweep. sweep. Yeah. yeah. Sweep, oh, everybody, yeah. Santi, you had Phoenix in a sweep? Yeah, sweep, though. So probably they got one game, right? New Orleans got no, one they got game. two. No, they no, got two. Yeah, they Phoenix in six. six. That game, that, that series was sneaky competitive. Oh, because okay, Brandon so, Ingram, man, I'm telling yeah, you. He is went off. When I saw him kill the Clippers in the playing game, I was like, this guy is a good fucking player. And, and I was like, he doesn't get hurt. I'm telling you, he plays exactly like KD. Okay, so question. So they took Phoenix to six games without Zion. Zion is up for the max contract. Would you give him that money to go with the core that they have right now? My answer is fuck no. I think if you're New Orleans, you have to. Yeah. That's true. That's true. They yeah. have to, but I wouldn't. Just put him on a vegan the, diet. The problem, the problem is, though, you can't move Zion because, like, there's no other team that's going to pay the world for him in, like, draft picks and capital in order to get him, um, n- like, knowing what a wild card he is right now. And New Orleans has no other choice then in that, but to, to, well, but to pay him. Like someone they, yeah. might, maybe like a Sacramento or an Indiana or one of those small market teams that are just desperate maybe, for but... a, a, a box office, get people in the building type of team. So maybe, there's, there's I wouldn't say that the nobody. Knicks are trying to go after him. But there's always a make, sign. But again, sense. it's like, well, who do you want in return? Like, I think if you're in New Orleans, you want, if not a sure thing, as close to a sure thing as you can get. I take so, both players. like, no, but, like, you need someone after, like, Brandon Ingram, I guess, could be your one. But, like, we saw CJ McCollum as a two on on the Trailblazers and it did nothing. So, like, you need another piece that – so, it's like, do you maybe, like, throw RJ Barrett in and hope he becomes, like, a bona fide two? But even then, like, the Knicks, I don't know, include him in a package because – you know, they need someone to pair with Zion. Like, I, I just don't think – I think New Orleans is trapped. Like, you just got to yeah. pay Zion and hope he becomes a superstar. That's scary. That is fucking scary, bro. He He's only played 38% of his games since he's been in the NBA. Bro. Yeah, but he's been he's been a superstar when he does play. That's the thing. A superstar? I don't know about that. But Dude, he's the who? most entertaining basketball player on the planet when he's, when he's on. Who's Zion? Yeah. At Duke. All right. Well, you know what? I think New Orleans earned all of our respects. Yeah, uh, totally. Uh, I I like I like Grand Theft Alvarado too. I like him. Mm, so, I, I love I, him. Yo. I like to see more of him. I love those uh, hustle guys. Uh, yeah. Next was Utah and Dallas. Utah Dallas. Utah Dallas. So this is my best pick of them because I think everyone slept on Dallas except for like yep. me and Santi and like. Yeah. Uh, another question we 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 kind of went over last time was: Do we think Luca could be the best team on the best player on a championship team? I think he can. Yeah, no. And question. I think this playoff series kind of proved it. If he can just not be such a fat boy and like take I care was of his say, body, I, I have my doubts. I, I like not, I and it's not it. it's not anything skill related, uh, and it's not even that he's like not an alpha because he is, but he. Yeah, like I look at Luca and you're, and he's a dough boy. Like, is he? Does he have the commitment to be the the one on a championship team? That's my only yeah. question. We'll find out, but I think he's he's gonna get injured either this season or next season if he doesn't get his body right because he he's just that's just a guy that's gonna be made for injuries if he's not healthy. He's not gonna be. Yeah, there. no, he could definitely be the best player on the team. Like this playoffs, he he went fucking nuts. Um, yeah. Wait, Steph, what'd you have? You had Dallas in what? Dallas in six, and that's what yeah. it was. Me too. Yeah, Reed, Reed, you had... I had Utah, I think, Utah in six. six. Yeah. I had yeah. Utah in six. And Santiago, mm-hmm. you had Dallas in six? Yeah, Dallas. And Trent had uh, Trent Utah had Utah seven. Yeah. Seven. 
Jesus. All right. I mean, with Utah, man, I'm telling I Utah, think, yeah, right? I yeah, think Utah. Yeah. I think all of us realized how dysfunctional it was going into that series. Can we not spend any fucking energy on Utah? They're a fucking joke. I'm down. Um, yeah, let's skip them. So Golden State they, versus Denver. Yes, yes. We all Hopefully. gave Denver too much respect. But I mean, it was Joker. But I mean, yeah, Joker was by himself, yo. Did, yeah, wait, did I? I thought I thought I called the Golden State in five on that one. Maybe I said six, but you said six. I, yeah, yeah, you said six. Oh, okay, I, I said Golden State in six. Everybody said six. I said uh, seven. We gave Denver, we gave uh, no, Santi said much. seven. Yeah, I gave Joker too much credit. Way too <laughs> much. <laughs> Denver's like Utah. They're just never going to make it. I mean, we'll see what happens next year with yeah, Jamal Murray. We'll see. Yeah, Jamal Murray. And yeah. The other guy. Michael What's Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. But I still yeah. think they're their first second round exit. I don't think I don't think they're that scary. So you don't think Jokic can lead them to the lead them to the finals, not win a championship? Maybe we need one more finals? player. No, nah, because bro, to have to go through the West, like right yeah. now with, with the West next how it's gonna stack up next year, like I don't see them beating like a healthy Clippers squad. I don't see them beating the Phoenix Suns. I don't see them beating Golden State. Clippers. Anyways. Bro, D, don't even get me started, bro. Because nah, you have that I'm much like, respect. Nah, we're, no, we're gonna get into it later, dog. We're gonna get into it later because <laughs> no. I got mad fucking shit for you, dog. You got me pissed with that fucking text, dog. Don't get me started, what, bro. What text? The fucking Katie's not top three in the league. Yes, bro, time flies and bonus room. If you have Katie dog. at high, you gotta have Kawhi at high because Kawhi's resume is better than KD's, and he's proven more than KD has. So I don't oh know how you God. can put KD on a pedestal. No, read. Okay, are you fucking kidding me, bro? This is why you get me so fucking pissed. Lozano brothers make the worst <laughs> fucking takes Bro, how is that a worse take? Mine's is based on facts. Oh, why is not more proven than KD? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? What happened I got, three years ago, D? What happened three years ago, D? No, let's not do this right now. We got to have a what separate part or at the end of the No, we're not mean? doing this right now. We're not doing bro, this right now. Bro, you're the one who's getting it. worked up, bro. I because have Because you say, you say Kawhi is fucking, he's more proven than KD when he hasn't yeah. played more than 60 games since fucking, I think it's. What, is um, it, what does it matter about the regular season, D? What does the regular season matter? He What's needs the to only be thing healthy that matters? to play in bro, the playoffs. I don't, even watch the NBA until, I don't even watch the NBA until the All-Star break, bro. What do you, who cares about the regular season? Who cares? Okay, Kawhi about? is always injured after the All Star break. He's always fucking injured. Torn ACL, injured? fucking How? always bro. load management. Get the fuck out of here with that what shit. Are you bro? About? He played his first season with the Clippers during the pandemic. He played the entire season. He was never out. What are you talking about? He didn't get hit hurt in a bubble. The second season, he was hurt. Mo- I mean, he was healthy most of the season. Got hurt in the playoffs after the last having time, his, his best playoff run of his career. What are you talking well, about? The last time Kawhi did not play sixty games or more was. Super okay, recent. It was last season, eight, 2020, and then the year before that was 57. And the last time KD, the last time KD did not play 60 games was fucking was 2014, 2015. No, no, no. He besides didn't play this season, games besides season. this season, oh, dog. Now, so now because he fucking had a torn season. Achilles, dog. Now we're. I'm done, bro. <laughs> you mean so, moving on? Two years ago, he had a torn Achilles. What are you talking about? That that's the reason why he couldn't play more than 60 games this year. LeBron played more games than him this season. We talking about Katie's coming off a torn Achilles. What are you talking about? Two years of course, ago, of course, he's not gonna play. Two years ago, he got a torn Achilles in 2019. It's 2022. It's three years 2020, ago. 2020 was the fucking bubble. He didn't. He was. He was. Re, he was rehabbing. I think he's not gonna. Okay. The, the 2021 last season, he played. He took Milwaukee to seven. His Achilles looked fine. 2022. What's the excuse? The Achilles he still from three years he has, ago. He had some injuries. Okay, yeah, so how are you gonna call? How are you gonna call Kawhi injury prone when Katie's doing the same shit? Because because Katie's injuries are not Kawhi. Kawhi's injuries is always his knees are Torn always ACL. Been, Kawhi's injuries, his knees been fucked up since he's been Zaza drafted. didn't put his food, foot under him. Kawhi Zaza has been injured. Him. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Cool, one injury, great. The other injuries is in everybody knows his knees been fucked up since he's been drafted. Katie's always been a freak injury. The one he a couple, of, I think his first season in Golden State when he, when he was playing against um, the DC fucking Wizards, somebody rolled into his okay. knee. His knee, something happened with his knee. He was out for like six weeks. The same, the same shit happened this season. They're both Katie's injuries are freak accidents. Kawhi is fucking injury prone, bro. He's drafted okay. with his knee being fucked up. Regardless of him being injury prone, he still took that Toronto team. A bunch of none of them are future Hall of Famers. You can't say okay, maybe Cal Lowry, maybe like none of those players on that Toronto team is a Hall of Fame player. KD took Kyle Russell Lowry's Westbrook. Hall of Fame. Okay, fine. One, KD took. Uh, James Harden and Russell Westbrook, two future MVPs, multiple MVPs, and Hall of Famers. He took that team to the finals and lost. 
And they then were babies, his bro. two champions. Oh, okay. Fred Van Vliet was a baby. Stop are you, it. Are you, Stop what are you it. talking about? Kyle Lowry never Kyle won Lowry? an MVP. He never won Kyle... an MVP. He never even touched an MVP. You so are right. You're you talking are about right. Russell Westbrook and James don't Harden. Act... Go ahead. What? Don't act, don't act... Russell Westbrook and James Harden are two future MVPs and Hall of Famers. And he took that team to the final. Okay, he gets credit for that. But, bro, he doesn't get credit for joining the Warriors team with five to six future Hall of Famers and four proven All Stars. Bro, come Bro, on, man. I'm, he listen, doesn't get listen, credit for no, those no. chips. Listen, no, he definitely does get credit, but I am... Oh, because he showed up in the finals when I he am, had to show up all season? Because he had Steph and Clay. I am with you as far as KD joining Golden State Warriors. Of course, that's fucking super suspect. That's super like, are you kidding me? Like, you, you were up 3-1, you lost, and you go join the team that won 73 games the season before? That's real suspect. I'm with you right there. But the fact is, he showed up at the fucking finals. Do you want to know how many... How, the first finals in 2017, my man Congrats, averaged. He showed up for five to six games. My man averaged 35 points. Average the first season, 35 points, nine assists, and six and a half rebounds. The second championship in 2018, he averaged 28 points, seven and a half assists, and ten and a half rebounds. That's showing up, bro. You still have to show up. And he Were showed you? up twice, dog. Okay. Two finals MVPs. That's fine. He took you it know? straight to LeBron's neck, and he took the crown as the best player in the league at that time. He still he, is the best player. No, Giannis is. No. You know what I compare that K, those KD stats to? That's like, that's like saying the rich kid who, you know, made a successful business compared to the poor kid who made a successful business. It's like, you know what? When you're rich and you have all these resources available, you're you more inclined make to make more like financial risks. Like KD knew he can play. Like he could take the shots he wanted. He could play aggressively because he knew if he was having a bad day, he had two of the best NBA shooters of all time to back him up. That if he he knew that if he had a bad day and if it wasn't on for him, he could just let have Steph have the ball. He could let Clay have the ball. He could let his team like save him. Listen, when he tried to do it, that man. on the Thunder, when he tried to do that on the Thunder, the reason why he was never successful or he never won a championship is because those guys that he didn't he didn't have those resources. Russ couldn't do that. Harding couldn't do that. So because Russ was trying to take the fucking biggest shots. He, he didn't want KD to be the leader of the team. Russ was super selfish. He sabotaged that team. James Harden was super young. You can't blame that on KD. OK, but he's still supposed to be the best player. So at that he's time, still supposed no, to make the shot at that time. He was not the best player. What are you talking about? KD Wait. was not the best player on the Oklahoma City Thunder. What? On no, that team? Of course. Of, okay, yes. then. OK, I oh. thought you meant in the league. I thought you meant in the oh, league. OK, no, no, no. He's the best player on that team. So he still should be the dominant one and still be aggressive. He was and he dominant and aggressive. Be, okay, and exactly, and then get him anywhere because when he had bad days, the team lost. When KD has bad days and the Warriors, they still win. That's the difference, man. Kawhi, I mean, we're, we're gonna agree. Kawhi this. led. Kawhi led that Toronto team to a championship. The whole, he not, hit he the got shot. traded midseason. Stop. He got traded midseason. He didn't have to that, play a full season. That's even though. more credit because he didn't. He he. He didn't get to use the, oh, we didn't have chemistry excuse, or we didn't have a, an entire season to work it out. Bro, he worked it out in half a season. He should get even more credit for that. We do, you remember, about? do you remember what he was doing before he got traded to Toronto? He was literally not playing for the San Antonio Spurs because of load management. So? He was literally sabotaging that whole fucking franchise. He and literally didn't Kyrie play didn't any games, up? dog. How come Kyrie didn't show up? He didn't play any games. Where was he in the playoffs? Wait, what? If, if you're using that argument against him, since he, I guess he had a whole half season to rest, Kyrie had an entire season to rest. And mm -hmm. why didn't he show up in the playoffs? Because of what? He wasn't in shape? No, I don't know. Kyrie is fucking... Kyrie is a fucking... Myst Yo, he's a mystery guy, Look, bro. I don't know what the fuck is up with him. All I'm bro. saying is that argument doesn't count against Kawhi's ability to, to will that Toronto team to a championship. Bro, that was the greatest championship runs we've ever seen in NBA history. And you know how you're saying KD is sus for going to the Golden State Warriors? How about mm -hmm. give Kawhi credit for having an opportunity to join AD and LeBron in the Lakers and said, nah, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to go to the Clippers. That's true. And I'm going to bring That's Paul true. George. That's so, true. That's true. Bro, what are you talking about? But I don't Kawhi, but, you, but go ahead. Kawhi is a more clutch player than KD. All right, he's already proved it, proved it. And he's more proven than KD to me. K, why does KD leave the Warriors? Why does anyone in that situation decide to willingly leave? Why does he leave? How KD? how is Kawhi more proven when he hasn't fucking played a full season and he has He's barely because played he plays when it matters, drafted, bro. bro. He plays in the playoffs. That's when it matters, bro. I I don't give a shit about that. If you so want to take playoffs, half your season this off, playoffs bro, he missed last last playoffs. He couldn't play because he torn his Achilles. The playoffs before that, what happened? Was there an injury or I forgot what happened? Oh yeah, he lost three one, but he was able to play surprisingly the season before that. What happened? I don't know. You got to remind me. 
He was in Toronto. The season before was Toronto. Before the Clippers, before they blew the 3 1 lead, he was with Toronto. The bubble season was his first Clippers? Oh, it was. That was his first season. season. That was the first Clippers season. Yeah. Before that was Toronto. So obviously, we went into this fucking spiral. And if anybody listened to this, to to give a little bit of context, (laughs) Stefan Stefan texted the group, the group chat after Steph texted (laughs) the group chat saying that KD is not a top three player. If you are listening and if you are watching on YouTube, please go in the comments and say that Steph is smoking crack because I don't know what the fuck he is. How is he not a top three, bro? Okay, no, no, no. Don't even answer that because we're going to go in spiral again. We still got to get through. We still got to get through the rest of the fucking picks. I'm just saying. What is he? Top seven for you? It's top five. Top six. Oh, okay. Um, (laughs) Read, read. read. What about you? Top, where where is he at in your list right now? KD? Yeah, KD this year, honestly. Well, up to now. No, right no. now. His whole career up no, until no, now. I, yes. I'm, not saying, no, I'm just saying this season. This season. Just, just of this season alone. Where do you think KD's last? That's a stupid. He current, can, that's you're stupid. talking about because, yeah, where he currently mm-hmm. ranks among the league's best. Not league's all best, time. Like, no, not all time. Yeah. Just of the 2022 of, season. Among the active players. Correct. Right now. Of this season. Okay, this yeah. So what, you still think he's top three, Daria, of this season? He's number, he's number two. Yeah, I, I say he's, I say he's top three. I say he's top, top three. Top three All of right. this season. All right. I'm talking about ability. No, I'm talking bro. about skills. I'm talking about overall skills. What are you able to bring to the table? KD has the whole package. And what did That's that bring what to makes the a good player? What did okay. It bring to the yes, you are right. The playoffs was a real suspect, but I'm talking about if you're ranking the top 10, you are ranking each player individually. Which player yeah. has better skills than this player? KD has the most skills in the fucking league, dog. You can't tell me that KD does not have more skills than fucking Paul George. Or well, Paul George isn't in my top six, so <laughs> Paul George, whatever. KD individual skills, you rank them against each player. KD has Dude, better yeah, skills. Yeah, you're no, even against Giannis. Like Giannis doesn't have the offensive skill set as great as he is. He doesn't have a, as complete an offensive skill set as. But KD. he's a more dominant and clutch player. He's a more aggressive player. He's, he's more, more dominant, dominant player. player. I don't know that he's more clutch. He's super more dominant, and he's just taking over because he because what have he's what has he done so far, and also his like, projection in the future. Like he's the best. He also led a team of like basically nobodies to the championship kd hasn't done that kd is not going to do that he tried it that's why he left d he left the wars who i'm leaves, not arguing if he's who gonna leaves do the that. best situation I'm, in the world to go to fucking brooklyn bro he's I'm not to arguing if he can lead he's a, a little, championship he's a little I'm insecure not, fuck and he goes to brooklyn because he wants to prove to everybody and you know make people like you and reed who thinks a top two talent think that hey I'm this good that I can take a Brooklyn team to a championship. And he hasn't done that, bro. He's been the second round exit. It was a second round exit last season and a, and a fucking sweep this season. I'm and he's not, not going to do it next year. If, he's not going to get to arguing, a championship. I'm bro, not, I'm KD's going to finish his career with two rings. I'm not arguing if KD can lead a team to a championship. I am arguing that KD that, is obviously top three. That counts. That counts in my list. It's not just skills because if we're just talking skills, bro, Trey Young has some of the sickest skills anyone has ever seen. Are we putting him a top five player? Bro, if we're talking it's skills, also what you've done Lonzo as well. Throw. It's also skills, but it's also what have you, what have you done in the league? And what has he done? Dog? What has KD what done? done? What has KD done? What has KD done? Give me a second. You won two championships with KD who? Done. What has done? What has, what has KD done? done? Okay, so he's, uh, I'm, okay, listen. What has KD done? 12-time All-Star, four-time scoring champ, Regular two-time season. champion, Regular two-time season. finals MVP, 10 two-time times all, champion, two-time 10 times all NBA, rookie of the year, the 2013-2014 NBA MVP, top 75 list. Like what? That top 75 list is washed, bro. Come on. You don't have Clay and Dre in there, but you have AD. Come on, bro. That doesn't mean shit. I mean, that's another top, that's another conversation. I'm I'm gonna agree with you, but he made the list. So I'm sorry. Wait, you but... what, you you think KD shouldn't be on that list, Steph? No, 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 no. no. I'm saying that list is like you know it's not. I get, really I get what you're saying. Reliable. They should definitely be in over Westbrook. Or wait, no, Westbrook exactly. Westbrook, yeah. Westbrook, Harden, Westbrook and AD it. are on that yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. And then Clay Thompson isn't like that. Anthony Look. Davis made that list, so I'm with you. That list is suspect. <laughs> bro. Anthony Davis made that list. That's insane, bro. That's, That's what I'm saying. Insane. So, so I'm look, with you on that. To me, look when I when I'm talking about the top players in the league. I'm talking about guys who I'm like, look, we need to win the fucking game. All right. We're either down or we're in clutch time. And I need to hell with that. Everyone else who you're playing, who's on your team. You need to take us to a win. And I'm right now, KD over Kawhi. well, you're crazy for that because like Kawhi has more of a history of proving that he can do that over KD. And he has. So I'd rather have five other players right now. If you're telling me if I'm, if I'm a, a coach and you're like, you have 
you have these players to choose to do it for you. I'm picking five before I pick KD. You're fucking insane. You need to name the five. Yeah, you said that in the group chat last night. And right. you just start, and you went crickets. I need to hear LeBron the five. James. You said f- LeBron James, bro. You can't put LeBron. You can't put KD over LeBron. If you put KD over LeBron, that's blasphemous, bro. Yeah, because LeBron plays has, defense. Has led plays bums defense. to the finals and even okay, so even overcame a three-one deficit against the best choosing, team in NBA history. You are choosing five. Warriors. You are choosing five to six players ahead of KD. This are you leaving? What is going no, on? I'm trying to try my light. Hold up. All right. There's no light. You, okay, so just to be clear, you are picking five to six players ahead of KD for yes. what? For a, a, for literally to win a basketball game with two seconds left or or what? Yes. No, to win a basketball game in crunch time, which is two minutes or less, and to start my team with. And like if if you can start okay. your team with see. anyone for the season, let me hear it. And you can pick, it's like a draft. I'd rather have it. these players. Okay. LeBron James. Of course. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not agreeing with you as far as ahead of KD, but I'm agreeing with you. Like, yes, these would be players out with our team and all this clutch. Okay. Ahead. LeBron, Giannis, Giannis Steph, Steph. Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard, and Luka. You're, you're done. You're done. Luka. Get the fuck out of here, Luka. What the fuck has Luka done? Yeah, get out of here, bro. Luka hasn't done shit, and let Kawhi Leonard is always fucking injured. How are you gonna? De- how are you gonna depend on him when he's not available to? What do you play, mean? Dog? What are you talking about? He only he, needs he only missed every other game. I don't care. That doesn't matter to me, bro. Load management does not matter. I do not give two when shits he about the regular it? season. When yeah. he requested, bro. If LeBron, if if Kawhi came up to me and said, "I only want to play half the games, but I'll be there for the playoffs," cool. That's fine. I would not give two shits. Because I don't care, Dario. Because the only thing that matters in the NBA is the playoffs. The regular season, but he's mean able anything. to perform in the playoffs because he didn't even try to play in the regular season. The players who I give more respect to players who play the entire season. Okay, that includes regular season. And then if you do if you do your job in the playoffs, I give you more. And KD's respect. barely done that, so I don't even know what you're talking about, D. Look, Kawhi's Kawhi, two Kawhi major injuries in the that, playoffs. Barely. Kawhi, Kawhi's two major injury in the playoffs was when Zaza went under him when he shot his three, when they were killing Golden State, and crazy how, like, as soon as he gets hurt, Golden State comes back and beats the Spurs, and it's not even serious. Crazy how that happened. And then his injury last season against Utah in game six, no, no, in game four or five, where, uh, what's that bitch-ass waifu name uh, for Utah? He doesn't even play there anymore. What's his name? Beans? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. The Australian fuck. Look, he bumped Kawhi when he was going for the layup, and he stepped, and he tore his ACL. Bro, it's a non-contact injury. That's like, bro, it's like, those are the inju- those are the hardest injuries to prevent. Like, it's not like he's being reckless, tossing his body, or he just has no, like, awareness for himself. Bro, he got bumped, and he landed Ron's right knee. I was right there. I was right in that section when I saw it, bro. And so then I saw it, I was like, oh, fuck, that's a knee. Like, and you want like, and, and you want to depend on him moving forward with your franchise. Yes, a hundred percent. Have fun with that. If, if, with that. if Brooklyn said, "Yo, let's swap Ka- Kawhi for KD," I'd be like, "Brooklyn, go fuck yourself." I'm sticking with Kawhi because Kawhi is more proven than KD. He's have fun it. with that. Next season, when when all when next season when everybody's picking Clippers to make it to the to the NBA Finals, talk no to one's me. Picking them. Talk talk to me when Kawhi is able to play the whole regular season and actually get through the first round without an injury. Talk, talk to, to me when KD plays the entire season and gets bounced in the first round again. Talk to me then. Because if KD is so fucking good, he should at least get a couple games or even a series, right, D? Yeah, right? Yeah, he should. Okay, he should. then. So what's that, his excuse that, for this season? What's his this excuse? Season, this season was a wash, but that doesn't mean he's not top three in the wash. league. Wash. Okay, okay. That's so insane. next season, so what? So what, where's he going next season? Is he getting a ring? I don't know. Is he know. leading that Brooklyn team? More than, exactly. likely, more than likely not. But that still doesn't mean that he's not top three in the league. Everything you're saying is a moot point. Everyone, Anything every, you're saying, if he still gets swept next season, first round, second round, he's still going to be top three in the league. Everybody's going to be able to tell you that. Everybody that watches top, basketball guess, tells you that, top dog. Top three, and if, if, you, if you put them in fucking uh, in the Bronx playing in a cage, sure, yeah, all right, we're playing on the blacktop. Sure, he has mad skills. But, bro, I'm talking about players who have that it factor. KD doesn't have that it factor to me. Just because he won two finals MVPs when he had – the most incredible comfy bed to fall on in the world. That doesn't, bro. That's like Matt Stafford winning the Super Bowl this year, bro. Like Matt Stafford yeah, just I don't had really to show know about up. Football, so. Well, me and Santi know what I'm talking about. When you have a running game and a great defense, you barely have to do. Dick. Where is your brother? Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, I thought hey. Santi left. Hey man, all right, move on. Uh, next. Yes, the last the last series for the Western yeah, Conference I first bounce round, soon, guys. 
It was Memphis and Minnesota. I had Memphis in six. Steph, what'd you have? I had Memphis in uh, seven. Reed? I had Memphis in six, I think. Okay, Santi? Yeah, I think the same. Uh, okay, so then the East, East semifinals, um, everybody had Miami and Philly? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I had Miami in seven. Santiago, what'd you have? I had Philly in six. Reed? I think I said Heat in five. <laughs> oh, you did, I said, yeah. I said same. Heat in five? Okay, and hey, then... Heat in six isn't too far off. And then I had Milwaukee and Brooklyn, um, and then I had Milwaukee in seven winning that. Santiago, what'd you have? I have, I have uh, you said, he had Boston had... and Milwaukee, and he had Milwaukee in Mil- six. Yeah. Right. Reed, what did you have? I had Milwaukee and Miami, and... No, you had um, Milwaukee and Brooklyn. We're talking semis. Milwaukee and Brooklyn... I think I had Milwaukee in six on that one, right? Yep. So did Trent, and so did I. We all had Milwaukee in six. Okay, so now for the Western semifinals, um, I had Phoenix and Utah. I had Phoenix beating Utah in five games. Santiago, what did you have? Uh, I had Phoenix in five. Against who? Utah. No, Dallas. Dallas, Dallas, yeah. Okay, Reed? I way overhyped this Phoenix team. Uh, I had Phoenix against Utah, and I think I had – Phoenix five. in like a sweep or five, yeah. Yeah, Adam five, yeah. Yeah. Stuff. So. I had Phoenix in seven because I knew Dallas was like gonna. I knew Dallas was a good team because I, I love Luca. And, and you had you had Phoenix against Dallas in the semis. Yeah, I had Phoenix okay. in seven. Okay. Um, I, I told you Phoenix was not good though because regular season doesn't mean dick. Dude, that Phoenix good. meltdown was insane, bro. That was yeah, bad. that was crazy. That was pretty. Bad. That was insane. Um. Okay. I feel so bad for the... Chris Paul, but. It is what I it don't. Is. Eastern Conference Finals. I had Miami versus Milwaukee, and I had Milwaukee in seven. Um, Reed, what did you have? I had Heat Milwaukee. I think I had Heat in six, seven, seven. Stuff. Uh, I had Miami in seven. Yeah. And Trent had Miami in five. <laughs> <laughs> Santi- Wait, what after. Oh, Santiago, what'd you have for the I, Eastern I had, Conference? Finals? I had I had a Philly. In, in Milwaukee, and I had Milwaukee in seven. Uh, seven against Philly. Okay. For the Western Conference Finals, I had Phoenix going up against Memphis, and I had Phoenix in six. Steph, what did you have? Uh, I had Golden State and Memphis. I mean, sorry. I had Phoenix and Memphis and Memphis in six. Reed? I had Golden State and Phoenix. Um, I think I had Phoenix in six. Santi? Trying to look. Let me see. I have, you had Phoenix uh, in seven. Phoenix, Wait, I have Phoenix in seven. Prepared. <laughs> yeah, I have Phoenix in seven. I'm looking at the shoot. I, right I do want to make a comment about uh, Memphis. You know, I don't like John. Yeah, anymore. you thought they were going to go to the championship. I did. I, I liked what I saw like in the yeah. regular season. And I thought like since they were young, they were a young team, that they were just going to be fearless and they were going to play the most loose, which I think against teams like Golden State and Phoenix, I thought it would have benefited them. But um, no, you, don't you know like I don't. I don't like Jabro. I don't like the way he was acting during the playoffs. I don't like how he was talking shit after every game on Twitter. I don't like how in Game Four when they were about to go down three one against Golden State, he's on the sidelines cracking jokes with some bench warmer. Like it's the last minute of the game. You're not even out there because you're fucking hurt, and your team is out there playing their hearts out, trying to play one of the best teams like in the NBA against two of the best players to ever do it, and. He's just there joking and making jokes in the last minute. You're about to go down 3-1, bro. Like, I don't know. To me, I don't like that attitude. I didn't like mm-hmm. how his dad, after game one, is dapping up, like, Steph Curry and Dre. And, like, I don't know, bro. It's like, you guys haven't proven anything. Like, just because everyone has you on this pedestal, including myself, you haven't done anything yet. And so for him to talk shit after Twitter and say, oh, that's not He's the on code. Twitter a lot. He's on Twitter bro, a lot. Bro, talk shit after the series is over. Why are you talking shit after every game, bro? You haven't done shit. Like... You just won one game. So to me, I kind of I, I lost a lot of respect for Ja after this. And Memphis, like, they have a lot of good players, and I think they'll they'll, they'll be contenders, but I don't know how I don't know how I don't know what their ceiling is. I think their ceiling's kind of low right now. But Santi, yeah. are you there? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> could you like could you like keep your face in frame? Yeah, yeah we're using this for you too. So I'm going to put the Lakers in the trash right next to it whenever you're facing the <laughs> The NBA Finals, I had Milwaukee against Phoenix. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the We fuck. didn't do games. We just had. That's yeah, yeah. Had. Yeah, we I stopped had, at Conference Finals. 
Okay. Okay. So let's just get into the NBA finals now. Um, obviously it's Boston versus Golden State. This shit is so interesting to me, man. Because Boston, I feel like Boston could match up with Golden State. And honestly, there are moments in the playoffs where Golden State was like, what am I watching? Jordan Poole, sometimes I feel like thinks he's fucking Steph Curry. I mean, he, he has talent and he's aggressive, but I feel like sometimes he uses it in the wrong moments and turnovers and the core, the core Golden State is the same, but the pieces around them aren't really the same. Jordan Poole, Juan Toscano Anderson, um, Gary Payne, Gary Payne the second. I think he's coming back for the finals. This is going to be everybody's first time. Andrew fucking Wiggins. Like, let me say, he's gained my respect. He can actually show that he knows how to play basketball. He's aggressive. Cool. But he, ha- he comes and goes. He's very hot and cold. And you can't, they made it to the finals. Okay, great. Congratulations. But are you going to be able to show up in the finals? And I don't know if Andrew Wiggins can do that. Um, so who are you picking? Oh, fuck. Um, do it. Pick did, Boston. Why did I fucking talk first? <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to pick Boston, bro. But then when I start thinking about it, I'm like, Steph, Draymond, and Clay. Yo, Draymond is a fucking brilliant basketball player, man. Yeah. I hate he's him, like, but he's, yeah. he's amazing. He's insane as far as – he's so annoying as far as his antics and as far as, like, just he says whatever the fuck he wants. But you cannot front. He His IQ is insane. And the way him and Stephanie – Stephanie, him and the way him and Steph has played, like, the passes that they make are some, like – Incredible. It's, in, it's insane. It's like playground basketball. Like they know exactly. Draymond knows where Steph is going to be before Steph gets there. Always he at leads, the right place at the right time. He leads the ball. It's insane, bro. Um, fuck, man. <laughs> All right, I'll go. I already know my pick. Thank you. You want to think about it? it? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll think about it while everybody goes. Um, man, I hate, I hate the Warriors. I still think about you know back when the Clippers eliminated them in 2014 when they were a young team and then the following year they eliminated us oh no no we got eliminated by Houston and we were about to match up with them in Western Conference Finals and we had a huge rivalry with them and I was living in NorCal at the moment in college and man they talk a lot but uh man this Warriors team they're just so well coached bro like Steve Kerr is proven now and these players are just so fucking good Clay is the most one of the most clutch players I've ever seen in my lifetime clutch Steph, obviously best shooter in the world, bro. That team is the definition of deep. Like they can insert anyone into that lineup and they'll all succeed. Otto Porter Jr. can succeed. Uh, uh, Kevon Looney, bro, destroyed the Mavericks, destroyed Jaron Jackson Jr. and uh, the Valanciunas. Like Kevon Looney, and I think you put Kevon Looney on any other team, he's not that successful. I just think in the Warriors lineup, he's successful. Draymond Green, obviously, you know, defensive specialist and great energy for the squad. So I got Warriors in six. Celtics to me, man, they're great. Jason Tatum's box office. Um, Jalen Brown is great. They have good pieces, Pritchard and Williams. But when they lost that game six to Miami at home, that proves to me that they got some choke in them that – that they they don't always show up like you lose to Miami even though I had Miami winning everyone and their mama had Boston winning that game everyone and they should have won that game at home against a hobbled Kyle Lowry and a somewhat defeated Heat team and to lose and to not I don't know man they were losing that entire game so they got choking them and I think Golden State just feeds off of that and I think Golden State's gonna take them apart I want to say five, but I have I have a lot of respect for Tatum, a ton of respect for Tatum. So I'm gonna say six. Mm. Anybody? Reed. Anybody? anybody okay. Reed? Yeah, I can, I can go next. Um, this is gonna be a really interesting series because the on the one hand, I I, I completely agree with you, Steph. I think Boston. I think Golden State is the truth, and I think Boston is susceptible to choking especially given that, you know, there's still a fairly young team and outside of Al Horford, they don't have a, a very strong veteran presence. Now at times that can be overrated, but I think, you know, the, I think the longer this series goes, the worse it is for Boston. I think Boston has to wrap it up in six or less if they want to, if they want to win this. Um, that said, I do think Golden State is about to get smacked in the mouth defensively because I don't think there's a single team in the West that comes close to the the Celtics on defense. And I don't think Golden State's come across a team this postseason that comes close to them defensively. So I think game one is going to go to Boston. And I think 
Golden State's going to kind of get a wake up call. Um, but I think if they can if they can adjust and and Golden State can keep this to six or seven games, I think it's a wrap. So you're going Boston. So who do you have? I'm going to say Golden State. Oh, okay, Golden State. How many games? Six. Six. Man, okay, so this series is this series is really interesting. Um, you guys know I love Tatum. We should have picked him over Lonzo Ball. I hate that. I still think about that. Um, I respect uh, Jason Tatum. He's took the. He's already moved up. He's taken a step forward, like I knew he would, in every year. So I know that team is gonna win a chip uh, soon. I just think. I don't think they can handle the wrath of Golden State because they're such a complete team and they have so much history together and they're better coach. Steve Kerr is a better coach than the Boston coach, even though uh, – what's his name in Boston? Emu. Yeah, yeah. yeah, great job. Like, man, he's on, his, he's on his way. But I just really think the fire pal, Draymond's IQ, how you guys touched on it before, the young talent we got in pool, I just think their bench is, is stronger. The only thing I'm worried about if Boston and Marcus Smart, their defense is just on, oh, man, it could be kind of hard for Golden State. So I'm calling it seven games in Golden State winning. Golden State in seven. It's going to be a hard series because the defense and because Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and Al Horford, this is his last shot. Like, I don't I don't know how many years he has left. I, I, think, I think you guys mentioned the defense, but I think – Golden State's offense is made for a defense like this because Celtics, they switch everything. That's what True. makes them so good is they switch everything. Everyone can guard anyone. So True. when you're yeah. switching a lot, that means the offense should be rolling. And Golden State does that. They pick and roll all the time. Their players are always moving. They're always screening and rolling. And so when you have an offense that's made like that and that's when they're at their best, that's going to kill Boston. So... They like because if you I was watch like I said I had a lot of time the past couple of weeks, um, so I, I watched every single conference finals game and like every time they switched they would just roll Kevon Looney would find his way to the to the interior and there was just always a player there for a rebound an offensive rebound or for an easy layup because Steph can get by anybody I don't think anyone on that Celtics team could lock him up not Marcus Smart not Jalen Brown I think Steph's handles are so good that he can get by any of them and once you get by someone. People, there's gonna help is gonna come and one of the players in the, in the um on the perimeter is gonna crash down mm. or cut and I think I think Warriors is just gonna eat him up. Uh, oh. I, I do I tend to agree with you. Um, that said, though I I think Boston's gonna dominate the paint as much as I love Draymond and Draymond will still get his. But when you have Draymond is six eight, when you have Robert Williams and Al Horford controlling the center. That's going to be a problem on the offense for on for offensive boards and defensive for that matter. Robert um, Williams is not healthy though. Like, yeah, but he doesn't need to play in every game to have an impact on the series. He just needs to be true. A, de- a, a deciding factor in one or two games because due to like he's six nine, but he has a seven six wingspan. Some insane thing like that. Yeah, no, it's insane. It's, yeah, it's like and so he's got the athleticism to guard. Clay or Draymond or hell, even probably Steph if if it like came to that. Um, but he's also got like the physicality to play in the paint and just dominate. So you pair him like obviously Golden State feasts on the perimeter. Um, but I think um like if they're if they're not hitting at their normal clip, I think the Celtics are gonna eat them up because they're just gonna absolutely dominate the boards. Um so I I you got Kevon Looney. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't have. A, I didn't make a pick, but I think I'm gonna go Warriors in seven. And the reason why is if you take a look at the, if you take a look at the Golden State Warriors opponents this playoffs. First round it was Denver. Correct. Correct. First round the it was MVP. Denver. Okay, yeah, yeah but, but we're talking about though. the wings. Let's talk about yeah. the wings. You got Aaron Gordon. You got Bones Highland, who was coming Aaron off the Gordon bench, super young. No, but listen, yeah, this is what I'm saying. No, this is what I'm saying. Boston's though. wings. Boston's yeah. wings. Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart. They're mm-hmm. athletic enough to to keep Steph, Clay, and Dre. 
like occupied and make it hard for them. Denver didn't really have that. And then their no. next opponent was Memphis. Memphis, right. Memphis was super young and they are athletic. They could have made it tough, but they were young. It's the first time coming into the playoffs as far as like having a target on their back. They didn't know how to handle it. They lost game one. Okay, so that's that. After Memphis, they just beat on um, Dallas. 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 Dallas's wings, like... Mm, yeah, exactly. Uh, this is what's his name? <laughs> Dinwiddie. Uh, oh, yeah. Dorian Finley, Finley Smith. Yeah. And, He's like uh, the one legit wing. And exactly. maybe Dinwiddie. Tim, Tim Hardaway Jr. was injured. That would have been yeah. a big help for them. Jim Hard- Tim Hardaway. So that's what I'm saying. So Boston's wings, they, they match up very well with the Warriors. I'm not saying they can stop them, but they could definitely make it tough. Marcus Smart is like right behind Kyle Lowry as far as like being the worst fucking defender of all time as far as flopping and shit. Like, don't get me started with that shit. Um, and then obviously Tatum and Jalen, they're super young, they're athletic. So I think I I could I, I mean Warriors could take it in six, but I think hopefully it's a good series, man. Hopefully there's no blowouts and shit. I think Warriors are gonna take it in seven. Key player that's God gonna decide this series the Warriors, is I, Andrew I'm Wiggins. My picks at Boston. If we're all taking the Warriors, I'll take the Celtics. How many games? <laughs> I don't know. This if Andrew Wiggins that, doesn't show up, Boston podcast. Wins. This isn't going to be ESPN 2.0. <laughs> I'm going to be Stephen A. Wait, so Reed, I'm how many? Ri- I'm riding with Boston. I'm riding with Boston. Fuck it. How many East, games? East Coast. Six. I still say six. No. No way. Crazy. Listen, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if Boston wins, though. Boston can't go back to Golden State for a game seven and win it. They have to do it uh, in Correct. six or in less. Six. I don't know, man. Golden State just looks so scary. They right. do. I don't. I. I don't. I'm not comfortable taking this pick, but I'm not gonna. Uh, we're not gonna all take Golden State, so I'm gonna take Boston. Boston's not that dominant, bro. They should. I know they're not. I just re- watch them. Res- respect. Respect to. to <laughs> all due respect, Reed, but Boston should have taken care of that series in five. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me. Like, and the fact that they didn't that tells me that they're prone to lose they games, choke. and Warriors are not. Nah, they're prone yeah. to win games. Like their shirts say, "Gold blooded," bro. It feels like that with the Warriors. Like, Dude, yeah, they no, get blown out by no 50 against Memphis. This, this switch, Steph. It's just so we're not all on the same side. <laughs> you, you yeah. know what? Golden State has such an advantage because, yes, they need Andrew Wiggins. They need, well, another player to really step up. Kevon, uh, Kevon Looney. But Steph, but the Steph, Clay, and Draymond, if the other players enough. don't show up, yes, it, it'll be it'll be enough to keep the, the game close. And then, obviously, at the last shot, Steph can make it. Clay can make it. Draymond, maybe not a three, but whatever. He can make a play. So it's just Andrew Wiggins, bro, and Jordan Poole, man. Honestly, they scare me, bro. But they've yeah. done it so far this playoffs. They've done it. And no, when one of them is off, not, the other one's it, on. They don't both have to be on. I understand that, but not consistently. Andrew Wiggins, one game is like, yo, you're on the court. And then the next game, he's dunking on fucking Luka Doncic. It's just like his, yeah, his fucking. But then they, go even ahead, if those guys don't show up, they have like Moses Moody who can like play. And then they have like Otto Porter. Yeah, who can do you play. trust Otto Porter and Moses? Moody? I don't trust them. But the thing is, you don't, don't have either. to trust them every single game. Like you only need one of them to show up each game. You really only saying. do. And in a six-game series, it could be Otto Porter one game. It could be Jordan Poole the next. It right, could be right. Kevon Looney or like that's what I'm saying. They are so fucking deep because the culture and the coaching there is just incredible. Incredible. And also, like, Steph, I, just to sorry, just to go back to a point you brought up earlier. I do think though that. Um, the Heat defense is a lot better than Golden State's defense. So I do think going into this series, Boston won't have these long droughts like they did against Miami offensively. I think they I think Boston is gonna get theirs, and I think it's gonna be a lot closer because of that. Yeah, I mean I think I think Golden State's defense is pretty solid. I don't know if it's better than Miami, it's, but it's, no. I know they I suffocated mean, like, yeah. the shit out of Luca. Golden State's defense is certainly good enough to win a championship, but I think there's definitely a drop off from Miami to Golden State when you're talking about the defensive side of the ball. Um, So I I do think like I don't think you're going to see quite the swings that you did against Miami with Boston, but I I do think that, you know, they're they're going to be able to, to put up some points for sure. Um, the, the thing yeah, I got something real quick. The thing with Boston, Boston has had throughout their whole playoffs had way they faced better talent in the playoffs versus kind of Golden State is kind of a cakewalk if you think. Yeah, they, they cruised. Really, they got it like really cruised to the finals. It wasn't they got like, breaks. Yeah, you know, like it wasn't Memphis. Play... I mean, it wasn't Phoenix's cruise last season, but it was still a cruise. But like right, they were supposed right, to play right. Phoenix, so I think just Boston's proved themselves over Milwaukee, Miami. 
It's just all these teams. They top, top two KD it, Brooklyn. Yeah, it's like <laughs> crazy, right? So the only thing I'm worried about is uh, Clay Thompson. He's kind of had a slow start, and I think he hasn't really showed up yet. You but just need he, game six, Clay. Man, That's if it. he could show up, oh, man. He will show up. So game six, that, Clay is a thing. That's that's the biggest Facts. thing. And, and it, 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 D, you know, well, I've, I've seen the finals like my whole life. I think it comes down to coaching, honestly. At times like this and one player to step up, it's probably going to be Steph or, or – uh, what's the? Yeah, what's I think the, you guys are giving – like, hold on. Like, Steve, yeah. like, Steve Kerr, all respect where it's due. He's got the resume, but Ime is no joke. That dude can really coach. I mean, yeah. it's, coach not ju- it's, not, it's not just this, this series that he had against uh, Milwaukee and then again against Miami. It's also like he was on the Spurs when they had this – when Kawhi shut down LeBron. Like, he – is an absolute defensive mastermind. Like that, that guy really knows how to coach. True. Yeah, uh, he's good. Jason Tatum. I was talking about Jason Tatum. It's gonna really come down to Jason Tatum and, and Steph and Steph Curry, who's gonna take that last shot. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this is Golden State's last chip together as a team. Mm-mm. This is this is. I don't think they could go back to back after this. As uh, a Clipper the, fan, I'm knowing Golden State is the biggest <laughs> obstacle in their way. Because the young <laughs> Your biggest obstacle is injuries, bro. Stop. Bro, it's okay. He'll rest half the season. I'm your cool big, with it. Your, your biggest obstacle is Kawhi being able to get out of the car <laughs> to play basketball. Stop. All right, D. I don't want to hear the same song. And, and Paul season. George, dog. Paul George, my elbow. Really? Really? He's, 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 he's not going PG. another hour like, long. Yeah, my PG bad. Because he's, he's, <laughs> he's not a true number two. He's a fake number two. My bad. Anyway. Whatever. Um, Damn. Yo, okay. So, gentlemen. So, that's the end as far as our playoff picks. But I did want to run thing. I want to run one thing by you. So, I told you in the group chat that I actually made a top ten. And it was currently, literally Nobody cares. today. I'm just saying, you guys want to hear it? And then you guys yeah. just give me your ideas? Yeah, give it, to give it to us. This is okay. active players right now, right? Active players. Nobody that's injured and didn't play because they're soft. So right. and, and, and it's on all time. Oh, okay, right? okay. So it's just players who played this season. Correct. Oh, okay. Well, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not all time. So Dame season, Lillard right? isn't it's on not, it. It's, okay. if, everybody, if everybody's healthy, Kawhi, Dame Lillard, like then that's, I don't yeah. have that list. I have okay. whoever played this season. So... 10A, because I have like three people for that 10 spot, but for the 10 spot. Oh, well, you I use had... top 10 or top 10, 13. Come on, bro. Pick one. <laughs> no, I'm going to top 10. 10. I'm going to give you top 10. 10 really? So you're going to go from 10 to if... 6 then? <laughs> no, I'm what? No, I'm giving you 10 through 1. Right. But if you got 10 A, B, C, then you go to 6 next or, yeah, 7, whatever. It no, is. The, I have three people for the 10th slot. Bro. All right. Is that not the top 13? Right? But I'm not. No, <laughs> listen, I have, I have, Three people for the 10th spot, but I have someone for the 10th spot. If you let me fucking finish. Oh, you just <laughs> want to give, like, okay, respect. Just let, let him talk. Let him okay. talk. Go ahead, right. Go ahead yes. dude. Number 10, I had Ja Morant. Okay. Number 9, I had Jason Tatum. Number 8, I had Jimmy Butler. Number 7, I had Luka Doncic. Number 6, I had Joel Embiid. Number five, I had the MVP, Jokic. Number four, I have Steph Curry. Number two, I have LeBron James. Number three, oh my bad, number three, I had LeBron James, sorry. Number two, I had Kevin Durant. And number one, I had Giannis. And as far as that 10th spot, John Morant took it, but I had Damian Lillard as an honorable mention and Kawhi Leonard. They didn't play. They didn't play. I'm, I'm saying if they were healthy. If they were healthy. Bro, if they're healthy, you have Kawhi 10B. This podcast is over. <laughs> this podcast is over, bro. I, I can't believe we're not. Played. We're not. We're no, not. No, 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 no. If, if, if Kawhi, no, no. If Let's just wrap healthy, it up. Let's just wrap it no, no, no. up. You, you said Kawhi, this was active players every, for this season. Correct. Correct. This season. That's why Kawhi Leonard didn't make number 10. If everybody was healthy, so Kawhi why is Leonard, he on the honorable mention list? Because he didn't play this fucking season, stuff. So he's not, he's not putting him at 10. He's just putting him on honorable mention. But he didn't. Okay. All right. So if, if he. If, okay. If everybody was healthy, if he was else healthy and he played this regular season and he was in this playoffs, of course he's in my top 10. Damian Lillard as well is in my top 10. But Kawhi Leonard is definitely like fucking 6 through 10. Don't get it twisted. So I think you have, sorry, on your list, I think you have Luka too high and I think you have Jokic too high. I think low. I feel like Jokic I, I, is perfect. Jimmy Luka Butler beat honestly the best regular little, season team in the playoffs. I would, have J, I would have Jason Tatum in my top five personally. Um, I mean, I think one- Jimmy Butler's probably. I would take Jimmy Butler over. I would take him over both Luca and Jokic right now. Nah, and it's not. It's not maybe Luca, but definitely not Jokic. It's not a skill set. <laughs> nah, chill, thing. It's not. No, no, no. Hear me out. It's not a skill set thing. But like again, like I 
We're talking about like what have you proven? Luca's proven right. nothing. He's proven Bro, absolutely this season, nothing. No, no, no. Something. You can't say this season no, proved yeah, something. exactly. This playoffs, he proved something, and he yeah, he definitely proved something. But I get it. Jimmy Butler has proved a lot more than Luca, which is why I think I also would switch Luca and Jimmy Butler. Correct. And so that's, I also and, put potential and it's not just, it's into not just my Luka. top list. Like I think Jokic, like Jokic, has won back to back MVPs, but what has he actually accomplished? Like. That's why, like, I would take Tatum and I would take Jimmy Butler, Butler over, over both of those guys. I mean, didn't Denver go to the conference finals against Lakers in the bubble? That was Denver, the right? Bubble, it's asterisk. I mean, that's true. Don't get me wrong. Super asterisk. But if Santi, if Santiago can bring the Lakers championship every but single time, but also how much I of that say was that. Jamal Murray? Like, I think that's a sizable amount of that was Jamal. And how Murray. much of that was the Clippers choking? Let's be real. Clippers should have beat Denver in five. <laughs> <laughs> they choked, but they choked. Okay, gentlemen. This has been a crazy list. Kawhi is not even top set, bro. D. <laughs> You're crazy. You put, you put Durant over LeBron. Uh, let's just bro, let's, let's put a chair. Steph, I, Steph what let's, are you confused Santi, about? You but now the listeners, the now the listeners know who's crazy and who's not. Steph, what what what, what is it that you're not getting? What is that? Wait. What is it that you're not getting? This the top list that I just made is everybody that actually played this season. So Kawhi Leonard is out. Damian Lillard so is they don't out. Even they don't even mention his this name. Season. They don't even mention his name. So mention him next year. True, you're right, but I'm just saying. I, and even I, then, you I, said I, even then the you reason, said he'd be six to ten. You're crazy, bro. Everyone, no, all just like fact. you say, I'm crazy. All NBA experts or analysts have Kawhi as a top five player. Like Santi, everybody. what do you think of Daryl's list? Uh, I think he, he's missing Jason Tatum, but Kevin Durant's not number two this year, bro. I'll Definitely put Tatum in there. Tatum, no, he's put, number. He wants to go on this season alone. He wants to put a player who got swept. Like I know he put him top two, Daryl. That's you're crazy for that. Over even LeBron? Brandon Ingram got two. <laughs> <laughs> Santi uh, said Tatum was too low. No, J- uh, what, what number was Tatum? Number nine. nine. Yeah, he's, oh, he's yeah, higher. Low. He's yeah, that's yeah. I'm, it's, I'm, it's, it's, his be first, higher. it's his it's his first playoffs. If he yeah, beats the he's Warriors, got, he's, he's in my top five. He's gotta be higher than Luca. He's gotta be higher than Luca yeah. at this point. And then Luca Luca, Luca did more with less. Yeah, no, but Tatum's I, I like a Luca better player on both sides of the ball. Luca's like, a be- Luca's a good defense. It's better defender than Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum shut down K- KD. No, no, he's saying no. That's he, what I'm saying. Asked, yeah. Tatum, Tatum's a better player on both sides of the ball. Did I oh, say Luca? Oh, I meant Tatum. Yeah. But I like Luca's offensive game more than I like Tatum's. Luca can step back from anywhere, bro, and he can get to, he can get to his shot. He's no, just, but he's fuck unhealthy. That. Like Tatum's a more skilled player. He's more fun to watch because he can he can. He can cross you up. He can pull up. He can drive. Like I, I love watching Tatum play. I fucking hate no, that. Too. I had to watch him play against the Heat. But like, I need to see he, some buzzer beaters from Tatum. That kid's the truth. And I need, need to see some clutch. Man. I need to see some clutch baskets from Tatum. Nah, Stephon, that that doesn't find you though. That's just being lucky. That's a big right part moment. of it to me though. Yeah, yeah that's he, coming from that's but, coming from the biggest Kobe stand ever, too. But because like his team is always up by ten, so it's like he doesn't have to do it because he. And he had yeah, oh, he Luca. Watch no, oh, Tatum no, had some clutch Tatum. shots okay. late against the so Bucks. Good. Luca has to score that because his team is always coming from behind, where he has to make those miracle shots. Yeah, that's but where was Tatum in Game Six in this past series? No, they slept. They slept. They they exactly. Bad, bad coaching. Saying, I blame it on. But coaching. he but he put he put the Bucks to sleep in the last series. Yeah. Look, I got he if Tatum that. beats the Warriors, if Tatum can will his team to the Warriors and get a finals MVP, I'll put him top five. It's I'll, a different I'll put him already, my point him is he's already ahead of Luca. He's already ahead of Luca. There's so, I, I, there's no yeah. doubt. It's a different conversation. But yo, Jimmy Butler, before before making this top 10, he was not in my top 15. But seeing what he did this postseason yeah. and then what he did in the bubble, like I top take 10. all that into account. Like yeah. Jimmy Butler has my respect, man. He he has my respect. He's top ten solidified. Yeah. Like I can't forty seven. Yeah, I put him. At, I put him at like six or seven personally. Yeah, I'll read. Thank you so much for for joining us on this podcast. It was really great having you. Hopefully, next time we can have the second half of the Island Boys. Um, yeah, be nice. Big leave facts. Me, leave me out here by myself on an island. Uh, literally, <laughs> as far as uh, time flies, I'm gonna put all the links down below for the YouTube for the podcast on apple and spotify and google all that good stuff bonus room anything you guys want to plug yeah 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 uh instagram the bonus room podcast also my personal instagram uh at stefan underscore lozano yeah man just follow us like and subscribe man show us love man we love doing this joint podcast it was fun man and yeah it was fun thanks fellas yo all right everyone have a good night and miss y'all next time miss y'all love y'all Stuff, you're crazy. Bro, you're <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah. You're crazy, bro. Kawhi's not top 10. Let's get it, baby. Let's right. get it, dog. I got Sign to smoke anytime right. you want, bro. I'm out. Anytime, Mamba. Bro. Peace.